into shape. But next we got Exax and Avadango. Exax, of course, he is number three on the NorCal PR, as far as I remember. Right behind Louis and... Uh, Prodigy? Yes. Yeah. Those two switch up, and then Exax is usually the consistent third, from what I remember. Yeah, recently uh, moving back to SoCal, so uh, it's... Within no time, I would not say I wouldn't put it past him to be on the next SoCal ranking coming out in a few months. Yeah, he's got like he's he's I think he's won an MSM and he's got like second at the other one, so definitely has the capabilities to be on our PR as well. It's gonna awkward position for him though because you know the whole snorkel and low cal <laughs> <laughs> stuff going on. But right now he's got to figure out how to get around Abadango first. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting because Abadango also plays Inkling too, so he's really familiar with what Inkling wants to do in neutral really well, and. uh Exax, I'm not sure how many Palutena men he plays up in NorCal. I'm not very uh, familiar with their team that much, but mm -hmm. we don't have that many Palutena mains here in SoCal. We only have around, like, we don't have Jump Stadium and, and Rafi, that's what I know. Yeah, I think Palutena is an East Coast character, <laughs> just oh, from what sure. I've seen, yeah. Not so much on the West Coast, but here we go. Mm -hmm. Already starting out? Yeah, just trying to find those nares to set up into potentially a grab or a tech chase situation. First opportunity here. Yeah, that neutral is going to be really good for Palutena, where Ingly wants to try to like, space back air. It seems like Palutena can stuff it out with a Nair, and uh, at low percentage, getting Nair loops, really good damage racking for uh, for Palutena. Mm -hmm. Splat bomb setup. I like that. He just waits there. He knew that the distance wasn't quite there, so he was going to be safe. He just had to wait on the ledge there. Yeah, Splat bomb makes ledge trapping so good for Inkling, and like they are, even without the Splat bomb, they have so many moves that are really good at the ledge, like down tilt, back air, uh, things like that. But wow, they're, speaking of back airs, Palutena's with that shield, really strong knockback on that move. And uh, being invulnerable to hits, too, just eat up a lot of uh, approaches in the air. Yeah, Palutena is another one of those characters where if you press buttons a little bit too much, you can get blown up really easy. You even saw, like, from halfway off the stage, uh, he threw out a fair. He was trying to, you know, reposition himself to up B, but then Abadango threw out Explosive Flame. That's a really good tool to catch them, and, of course, the back air as well. Let's see how he, Yeah, he's still trying to come back up with uh, Jump Fair. I know it's a great tool for Inkling, but... If a character like Politanic can catch that, you can get punished real hard and get on the ledge trap very nicely. Yeah, Albadongo is doing, like you said, a really good job of just trapping Exax in the corner of the stage, spacing his hitboxes really well. But there's the forward air, finally taking the stock. Mm -hmm. But 672, that's kind of big for Palutena. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a nice position for uh, Palutena to try and get another stock or another ledge trap situation. Close quarter combat, but air to air, yeah, gets the neutral air out. I think for the most part, too, Inkling, another in weakness potentially is just that when you th as soon as they throw out the aerial, they're kind of a sitting duck as well. Either when they're rising with the aerial, with, like say, a rising fair, then they're kind of a sitting duck as they try to come back down. Or they try to full hop first, and then they have to descend with the back air. But Palutena with rising there can usually beat yeah. out a lot of those options, which makes it difficult for Inkling. There's the back throw. Not enough to do it yet. Nice. Man, even having a tool to deal with Inkling's incredible recovery, that Nair just eats through the up B like, like butter, man. That was so good timing and positioning for Abadango. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his experience of being an Inkling main himself is just really helping him out in yeah. this set right now. Another Nair train. Uses up a double jump. I like that Exax is starting to mix up his recovery, going for switching up from high and low because he knows that Abadango is really good at catching the up B timing. Yeah, something that else that's really cool about Palutena's uh, Nair train is that it actually carries them to the other side of the stage as well. So even if it gets the damage, it puts them at an edge position where you have stage control too. Mm -hmm. All right, Abadanga knows exactly how that roller is going to work. He can just hit it out mm -hmm. when he's airborne and he won't have the risk of being buried. Up throw. Okay. There we go. Up air, yeah, that's 113. Mm -hmm. 45, he can definitely make that up. Something I haven't seen yet, though, is the jab. XX hasn't actually gotten that much jabs on Palutena at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just hasn't been able to get close enough to where he can use that move effectively, but that's one of the best ways to rack up percent with Blink Inkling at these low percents. Mm -hmm. I think every time he's been in close combat situations, Abad is already ready to do a jump nair afterwards. So it's about around the same amount of frames, so yeah. I think Abadango is just a little bit ahead of the game here. Go. But there we go, yeah. Really great position, too. Because he had it at the ledge, too, so he could push back a bit and yeah. then get a little more damage. Exactly. And now uh, while Palutena is inked up, he can do a little bit more percent if he can get in on Abadango right now. He's going to need it. But that's a really poor trade. Yeah, just, again, a really solid uh, ledge play from Abadango, covering the ledge jump pretty consistently. I want to say most times he tried to jump off fair, like you said, he got hit by either forward air or back air. Mm -hmm. He lost two stocks because he was trying to fair yeah. um, back on the stage. It's is a really easy to be susceptible to using that habit because it works on a lot of characters and it's also like a Diddy Kong fairy. It just covers so much range too with yeah. his legs. But, you know, 
Abadongo was able to catch that. Exax didn't quite <laughs> catch on to his habit yet, and in a pressured situation, just lost the game there. Yeah. Let's see what oh, Exax adapts. So this is like the benefit of having a best three out of five. You have way more games to adapt to your opponent and see how you can mix it up and really step it up in the set to bring it back. Mm -hmm. So he's going back on Smashville. I actually think this is a great Palutena stage like for things like that. Like he's near combo got carried uh, or ascended by being on the platform got yeah. more damage than you probably have gotten on fd mm -hmm. or any other non-platform stage and this is what i'm talking about an inkling being a sitting duck he did a jump there onto his shield and then he took 67 percent for that like that's a pretty big punish for something so considerably minuscule in yeah. neutral and something that inkling wants to do in neutral a lot but there you go getting the nair into the jab is inking up, inks him up quite a bit Wow, okay. he really went deep on oh. that. Okay, got a mix up there. I think he kind of misexecuted it there. Yeah, it looked like his roller clanked with the edge, so he like canceled the animation a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was really weird, actually. Yeah. Here we go, fourth throw. Yeah, gonna get some extra ink on there. Oh, his back air missed, and he got put in the edge position himself. But the up B actually working in his favor. Sometimes you would try to edge guard the inkling a little bit too hard to get. Reversal by that up B hitbox. Yeah. Uh, from what I see from all the Palutena's, it looks like Abadongo has the worst luck with getting all the hits of Nair to connect. Yeah. Sometimes the last hit just doesn't work, and so something like that can cool. happen. But get up attack, very nice. We'll be able to hit out roller. Yeah, this is good for Exax. Finally getting the stock lead to see if it can work with it. Inkling's another character that can snowball really hard if they get the percent in stock lead like this. But unsafe. Back air mm -hmm. gets punished. Yeah. Throws him right off the stage. Now yeah. we got a relatively even game. Definitely got to be careful about that spacing with back air. It's a very safe move, but you got to kind of be retreating with it, and then you'll be in a better position. Because Palutena's grab range is not that big, so he kind of just uh, drifted into Palutena a little bit too much there. Okay, got the spy bomb set up. Oh, good timing on that get up attack. Even having a little bit more uh, invincibility on it to get past the down smash. Really good stuff from Abadango. Trying to chase the landings with the dash attack. Not going to find the opening, but still, these guys are going back and forth in neutral right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exact yeah. ping him to the corner of the stage. Oh, it doesn't get his back around in time, and now he's trading in a really bad spot. Oh, that Ooh. lingering hitbox of the up smash lasts so long, and it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. But it makes her already really strong edge play even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Exact, he just showed his cards a little bit too early, so it's hot that he was basically going to go high, and so that up smash was able to cover it. All right, let's see here, though. Air dodge, directional air dodge down. No spikes going to come in for either player there. You gotta be really careful. Oh, getting ledge. Okay, you got stage back by the last hit of the splat bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh, the up throw up there, not enough, yeah. Probably needed the platform to help out. I'm trying to go for that up smash out of shield. He blocks both hits of it. Again, it just, Aodon was experienced as an inkling main himself. He's just not getting hit by a lot of these, like, more common setups that other people not familiar with inkling get hit by. Mm -hmm. and he just makes Exact's uh, chance of getting the kill even more difficult for him. Yeah. Still right. living a spot bomb, though. Oh, nice timing. Mm -hmm. Very nice recovery. Uh, edge guard there. Yeah, knowing that he got hit out, out of his jump with the spot bomb might mess up his up B angle and position the back air accordingly. Really mm -hmm. good stuff. And here's the full jab. Nice. It eats up quite a bit there and gets all the extra damage. If you can get some grabs in, it can do a lot of percent. Mm -hmm. I was really worried for Exax in the beginning of that uh, second stock because he was starting to throw out random smash attacks, which Inklings can fall into that habit because sometimes it's difficult to get the kill if you're not susceptible to, you know, the traditional setups like up throw, up air, and roller, especially like someone like Abadanko who clearly has matchup experience and knowledge of the character. But here we go. Not too far behind, actually. Either of these two could potentially take the stock. And here we go. That's another big combo. No, I'm not getting the fair extension, though. Yeah, I think he DI'd up maybe to avoid that or maybe just too high percent after the Nair. Yeah, either of these two, I mean, Exax can get lucky and get a roller or uh, Abadango can set up a ledge trap. He's looking yeah, for it too, but... For it. But Abadango, again, he knows how to deal with that roller. He's not going to sit in a really vulnerable position to get hit by it easily. Mm -hmm. The roll gets caught by the back there. He's going to be forced to, okay, stall a little bit with the roller. No Nair on the up B. Mm -hmm. good, good stall there for Exax. He makes up his recovery timing up throw, up air. Very close there. Staying under him. Potential second one. Doesn't go for it. Oh, oh man. Goes for the hard read up smash. No punish for Abadango, though, so it's kind of safe. Yeah. Okay. okay. Back throw him off. Yeah, and decides to uh, recharge his ink. Yeah, he didn't have any left. Up throw. Way out the air dodge. Oh, down smash. Still not enough. Good air dodge punish, but there it is. The slight charge and covering the ledge perfectly. Yep. Two stocks he got off Abadango. Kind of missed timing his up B recovery and getting hit by it, but great game for XX. Tying it up 1 1. Really yeah. showing that he has what it takes to, you know, upset Abadongo here. 
That was a really great air dodge read. I was expecting just for him to go for another one, but that time just had the recognition of his environment, went for the platform, got the air dodge read, was able to set that up into a great edge guard there. x yeah. with a little fist bump. Putting one on the board here, not yeah, going to go down with a 3-0. Not at all. He's playing really well. Mm -hmm. We'll be on the battlefield. Okay, battlefield. Gray stage for both characters, honestly. They both get platform extensions off their combos. Inkling a little bit more so, I would say. But uh, I think Abadango is going to want to try to trap him on like, a top platform and then hunt his landings with up air, which is incredibly strong aerial for uh, Palutena that can kill really early. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the multi-parries, man. I like the uh, neutral beat from the ledge, though, because it's uh, you're forced to block it, and if they get ink, they take quite a bit of ink when they go from the ledge. Yeah. A lot oh. of people saying that Splatter Shot is probably the most underrated move in Inkling's arsenal and for a lot of reasons. Oh, that's a really big berry, but doesn't quite set up into a jump cancel nair or like any tech chase situation there. Yeah. I would another opportunity. Out nice tech chase. Still not getting any berry punishes. Mm -hmm. I think he's just not really used to the timing that Aladon's going to mash out, so he's not getting appropriate follow-up. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it's like, you know, he hasn't been hit by Roller at all this set so far besides right. just now. So it's like, oh, shoot, I didn't think I'd get this yeah, far. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. you're like, oh, okay, what do I do now? Okay, good time on the back air for Abadongo. Nice. Nair again, that lingering hitbox, really good at covering Inkling's up B. He's going to get it again. Just rinse and repeat the edge guard here. The explosive flame catching him while he's charging up the spot bomb in his hand. Really good yeah. option choice from Abadongo to close mm -hmm. out that stock. Yeah, Solid edge guards. Great proficiency for Abadago too, because it looked like Exax was trying to mix up his timing on how he was recovering with up B, but Abadango just knew exactly that he could react to the, the launch of the up B. So. Yep. Again, knowing your character really well, being a really good Inkling man himself, he even knows the timing. Unless Exax mixes up his up B timing, he knows it pretty well when he's going to go to the ledge. Mm -hmm. Great punish on the roller out of shield, too. It's, it's really rough getting the kill for, as Inkling if your opponent knows most of the steps you're trying to go for. Yeah. The only thing that can pretty much be guaranteed is like if you get a back air tech chase setup because you have to either do a jab block or um, tech into the roller anyway. So yeah. that's a really great setup usually. But Abadango is usually not giving him the opportunity to get that. But here we go. Got a great ledge trap going here. Back air, of course, really great. Being able to set that up. Nice teleport cancel. That's like the Mewtwo experience coming in from Abadango. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of Mewtwo mains actually gravitate towards Palutena in this game. Mm -hmm. You, you know, it's got those, it, uh, really similar. yeah, that, like that nair. The, the nair, <laughs> teleport, recovery. Yeah, definitely uh, some similarities there. Doesn't press the button. Very good from Exax. How does he get back from the ledge? Oh, he almost so, fell for the trap again. Yeah, Abadango's really positioning himself super well at the ledge. Ledge trump, back air, super solid. Just, he just plays so well, man. Mm -hmm. That was a great mix-up, too, because he's been going for deliberate edge guards every time and he decided to wait there. And I think he kind of caught Exax thinking, oh, shoot, I actually made it back to the ledge. Great, I'll just come back up and think about my decision. And then he was already there with the ledge trump. Yeah, mixing up his ledge punishes very well. It's mark of a top player. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, he's just building on this lead. Three stocks to one already. Yeah, just uh, dashes back from the splat bomb. Knows the exact range on that. There we go. Finally gets a back air. You know, Inkling can stay relatively safe, so then he can finally get one of those kills at like 190 yeah. uh, with the back air. It just takes a while. Exactly, and it, it, it has to test how patient you are as a player not to get frustrated with not getting like the killing blow. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for your opportunity to get in there. Nice, Nair into the back air, seeing him decently far off the stage. Goes high. Oh, uh, he knew about the splashback. Yep. He knew about the landing hitbox of the up B. Good wall jump back air, nice ledge mix up. He gives a slight dash dance into the upper up air. Okay, Exax kind of moving a little bit here, trying to catch Abadango off guard, like change up the tempo that he's approaching. And it's working really, relatively well right now at the ledge. Oh, a little another too opportunity. Slow. Ooh, yeah, just miss bases to grab. Please fix that in the next patch. Anyways, here we go. Going for the high recovery, decides to go low, but yeah, Abadango's ready for it. Yeah. I think he's mm -hmm. gonna get close to the ledge. The neutral is right there. Is Covering that it? The up B as well. And yeah, that'll do it. Just barely enough to kill. Abadango, solid play, really good at adapting. And uh, using that battlefield counter pick to his advantage. Yep. I think the, the platform's really limited how Exax wanted to move to approach. Because if he tries to jump through the air, he gets caught on a platform. Yeah. And Abadango just strikes his landing with the Nairs really well. Mm -hmm. So then he was forced to play a more grounded game, which Abadango was super strong at doing. Yeah. It's like there's two types of inklings. It's like the ones that use dash back and dash forward movement. And then there's ones that... You utilize their aerials very strongly. Uh, both of them are valid ways to use the character, but yeah, we're going to Smashville. One platform this time. I think uh, Exax might have a chance here again, uh, just like the last game where he yeah. won on here, I believe, too. 
Yeah. yeah. Let's see, though. Eggrax did adapt in the second game that he won on this stage, so it shouldn't be impossible for him to do it again. I just think he needs to apply a little bit more pressure to Abadano, because I feel like in neutral, Abadano is just pretty much staying comfy, staying safe, not really feeling threatened that much. Mm -hmm. So like, if Eggrax gets a hit, he needs to try to push it as far as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, that might be a confidence thing, too, because uh, Abadango probably feels very confident in this matchup. Maybe XX not so much. But he's doing a good job regardless. Already getting the ledge trap here. What's he going to go for? Ooh. The get-up attack. Yeah, the sneaky get-up attack. This catches a lot of people off guard in this game, but there's a good roller. Tries to get the uh, the berry punish when he flies out, but it's still not catching his up air in time. Mm -hmm. You can get a lot of cool setups with Inkling that way, but oh, nice. That's smash out shield. Not getting the second, or sorry, the first hit to scoop him up. So he doesn't get the max damage on it, but it's still a really good option they can go for. Should be able to kill if he does something else unsafe for, on his shield. Yeah, and he ri rise in front of it too, so just have to wait for that opportunity again. Oh, hey, down tilt and the turnaround back here. <laughs> that down tilt is so active at the ledge. Yeah, Exas just like looks to the left like, did I really just get hit by that? Yeah, that, oh, man. that down tilt is so good at two framing recoveries. Yeah. And like what was looking really good first stock for Exas immediately turns around in Abadango's favor. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes Inkling just can't land that kill. Yeah. And now he's trading where he doesn't want to, taking like all his extra unnecessary percent. Yeah. Even the back throw won't be able to do it. He'll have to do it right at the ledge, probably. But here we go. Another opportunity for Exax. Okay, covering the platform, not letting him retreat to center stage for free. Okay, I guess weak hit fair. I probably want a strong hit, but he'll have oh, to take that. Clips him, but he doesn't cover the ledge appropriately. It's so unfortunate for Exax. Mm -hmm. If he got the both hits of down, so that would have sent him really far off the stage. And instead, he finds himself again trading with Abadano while he has the stock lead. Just yeah. the worst the worst spot to be in right now. Mm -hmm. Just in air to air, it looks like that Politan is just kind of having an edge just because of that neutral air in the back air. If they both clank, then the back air will beat it out. Uh -huh. Even down throw not enough to he do knew, it. He knew the right DI too, but there's a splat bomb finally gaining the stock. Mm -hmm. 200 plus percent. Pretty much anything would have killed at that point. Yeah. Still though, Abadano got a pretty hefty percent uh, lead before dropping his first stock. Oh, reflects the slap bomb. Ready for, the, yeah, he's, yeah, he's ready for the yeah, ready for the shot. So familiar with this character, man. He knows exactly what England wants to get off the ledge with most of the time. Mm -hmm. Great reactions overall. Yeah, Down throw, the backer. Attack too. Mm, not quite gonna be able to find it. Oh, but gets the second one. Exact getting a little too greedy. Thought he had the opportunity to try and reversal. And so consistent at punishing people at the ledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's, the, that's the thing a lot of players do, too. This is not even just x axis This is that it, you see the opportunity to try and get a reversal, but I think a lot of the times people should focus more on trying to bring it back to neutral if you're on the ledge because the risk-reward is just not quite there. And another get-up attack. He just knows there was a missed tech, but he couldn't get anything off of it. Yeah, I, I got to say, like, this is some of the best I've seen, like, anti-inkling gameplay I've seen <laughs> uh, from any player. Yeah. You would think that... Uh, not too many people play Inkling, so it would be difficult, but Abadago just happens to be one of them, so yeah. you, can see, you can see the anti-Inkling tech working out just fine. Got to be unfortunate for Exax. Like, man, you run into the one guy that, like, super knows your character. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Exax has any other characters to be able to try out either, so. Yeah, I know he said he was, like, practicing the wolf, but in this situation where he's already down and he has to stick it out with Inkling, not going to be seeing that. Mm -hmm. Almost gets downer spikes. Again, shielding the rollers, just not getting any free rollers. I think Exax has gotten, like, Five rollers max in this yeah. set so far. Mm -hmm. His his win ratio on that is probably like eight to two or, or four to one or something like that. Like for every four he's tried out, maybe one will land. And even when he gets them, he hasn't gotten actual like stock from the roller. Oh, try to get a ledge trap too. He even knew how to get around the splat bomb F smash. That yeah. actually catches a lot of people off guard too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exact. Still trying to figure out his way in. I mean, he's been able to hold the stage for a relatively long time. Okay. Finally, the up throw up air will be able to seal it out. The deficit, not quite as much this time around, but we'll have to see. The way Abadango is playing, I don't think he's going to crack anytime soon. Not at all. That's the real struggle for Exax. Like, he can rack up the percent, but getting that opening blow to set his combos up has just been really difficult for Abadango. It's like he knows that inkling low percent combo ability is very strong, so he avoids most of it mm -hmm. in neutral. All right, there we go. Another opportunity. Goes for the neutral air, but that time doesn't extend into the fair. Just wants to retain his ledge control here. The ledge guard for Abadango. He actually gets away from it this time. Exact looking like he's got a second breath of life here. Oh, the give attack again. It's the perfect time right before the down smash to come out. Yeah, like, Abadango is just not cracking under pressure. Usually people will get caught by those kinds of situations, forgetting that their get up attack is an option, but that time not working out there. But Exact's in a good spot here. 
Ah. Doing a good job of bringing it really close. Far Edge guard stage. opportunity. Yeah. Covers the up B. No, we're still living just barely. How's he going to get past Abadango here now? Stalls his up B. Goes for a weird angle. Oh, and there's the back throw. Still not enough. He's got another last opportunity point. here. That time finally got oh. it. Try to oh, it bait out a ledge trap. Not quite. And he's, his roll still got caught by the neutral air. I don't know, just feening at the ledge. He's just stalking him, just waiting for an opening opportunity for him to get this last stock. Uh, XX is looking for an opening of his own, though. Oh, oh the wow! Dash dance, the dash dance F smash! <laughs> <laughs> Max Rage takes him out from center stage. Man, he, he, he like swept that from underneath Abadango. That was so clutch the there. The dash dance F smash caught him off guard for just a second. And he brought that all the way back. Wow. I think Abadanka just got a little too comfortable, man. Exax really getting a second breath of life there. He's finally able to bring it back. Wow. <laughs> it feels like Exax has to work so hard oh, no, to get these games. He, like, oh, man. He definitely has been working so hard to seal these out. Like, just think how many times he had to uh, survive those false finishes at the end with those neutral errors just to stay alive barely. Wow. Talk about resilience, man. Exax is actually doing a really good job bringing this to a game five. Yeah. So is this town? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's always kind of funny, too, because it's always been the story of NorCal that every time they get an upset, it's always off stream. So let's right. see if XX can finally put one on the board for them. Do, we, do we let XX be NorCal? Like he's already moved to SoCal at this point. Oh, he, said he, he said he'd rep NorCal in the crew battle. So. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. He's still NorCal. You mm -hmm. guys have him. I, I think we'll give him, like, three more months, and then he can, <laughs> he can be SoCal. Yeah, already, but already starting off really nicely. Gets the nice. roller situation there. Oh, finally able to land a punish. Abadongo looking like he's kind of pushing his aggression a little bit more, and that's giving Oxax a couple more opportunities to really oh, start yeah. things going here. Exactly. Oh, Ooh. almost. <laughs> Xax looking really clean in this game. Mm -hmm. He's running with his momentum really well. Nice dashes under him, and he gets the up throw. Not going to get a combo from it, but he's applying a tons of pressure and making Abadango play a little bit more risky than he was before. Yeah, he's oh. definitely changed the tempo of the match. He's been trying to be able to push himself further, and Abadango doesn't quite have the patience and time this time around. So he has to figure oh. out something. Oh, those drag down nares. I don't know if those are intentional or just kind of messed up there. Oh, late hit in there. Not enough. Okay. Oh, oh the <sighs> slight poke from the... From the platform with the up air, yeah. man, that was really well uh, hard fought first stock for both players. Mm -hmm. I think that was a very smart att recovery attempt from Exax. Abadango just one step ahead there, unfortunately. All right, let's see if Exax uh, can run his momentum here from the last game. He's still this stock before he gets too far behind. Mm -hmm. There's an air train though. Yeah, nice in the wow. Extending it with a second or third air. That was interesting. Yep, just has oh. to kind of accept this cutscene. Yeah. Well, how is he gonna get back? Oh wow, oh, great spacing. <laughs> Actually makes it back around. Okay. What's the opportunity here? Just goes for an up throw. Oh, and tried to read the oh, landing, but not quite. And he whipped his standing grab, too. Just not that much range. Okay. Going back around off the stage. Trying to get set up here. Oh, barely gets past that back. A really good movement from Abadano to maintain center uh, stage control. Okay. Trying to find it. Oh, there we go. Catching uh, him drifting a little bit too far back. Maybe he was trying to space a back air, but it uh, gets caught by the forward smash. I think Inkling might reel the hurt box back slightly. Mm hmm Yeah. Like most S matches in this game. Right. Okay. We'll see how Abadango does here. Okay. Doesn't opt for the neutral air this time. Tried to pick him up and potentially get a back air. Not quite this time, but another unsafe back air. Oh, Ooh. Parry, but still not enough time to turn around and grab out a shield. Still, though, this is a solid lead for Abadango. With no percent taken so far. He's facing around all these approaches from XX. Ping him to the platform now. Oh, nice movement, man. Every time that XX thinks he crosses him up, he just gets hit by another, another attack. Oh, just had that parry, read that a mile away. The platform pressure, Abadongo there? just standing there. It was just such a difficult position for Exax to be in. He's got oh another opportunity goodness. to make it back. All right, we're back in neutral. Here Dude, we go. Abadongo is so scary. He's just jumping it, empty hop in, in place, just waiting for Abadongo, or sorry, Exax to press anything unsafe and yet to get touched on his stock. This is like the longest I've seen someone not get hit. And the only time he gets hit, he gets the trade on the stock. Dang, yeah. dude. Unfortunate. Abadongo's fundamentals are too strong. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. Mine is on hit, so he's going to be able to jump there after that. Now, we've seen Exax bring these back twice now. Yeah. It's not impossible for him to actually win this set, but he's going to have to really buckle up and get his head in the game to open up Abadano's rock-solid defense. All right, let's see. Oh, another Nair. Just able to clip him out. He's beating him out in the air to air again. Abadano's still trying to use utilize that pattern that he's figured out Exax has been doing. Yeah, another full hop. Like, 
excuse me, Xzac's been really airborne for a lot of this match too, so he's been able to call that out. Yeah, it seems really rough for Inkling to try to jump against Katen, because they, they have it again. Every time he tries to use an aerial of his own, he gets beat out by a nair or a forward air, or even a back air. It's mm -hmm. just the Still. range difference between the characters' hitboxes is just not in Xzac's favor, it seems. Yeah. Especially Still when he's forced to approach when he's behind. There is another roller getting called out. No less jump that time around. This time it gets to parry, but still not enough time to be able to get that. Yeah, Abadon was like Woo! nice range, and there's the up smash out of shield punish. Closing out game five with the two stock. Abadon moving on in the bracket, but man, Exax really made that super hard. Was mm -hmm. not free at all. Yeah. Really, again, got committed.